If you think you've seen Princess Cruises, you've never seen Princess Cruises like this before. I just got back from sailing on the Sun Princess, the newest, largest, and most expensive cruise ship uh, Princess Cruises has ever built, pricing out at $1 billion. This 21-deck vessel can accommodate 4,300 guests and has a tonnage of nearly 178,000 uh, but there is lots of concerns and there's lots of content online of like ship tours and all these things. But there are some stuff that I feel like you guys haven't seen. And I figured I put together a list of five things that I enjoyed the most. And here are five things I loved about the Sun Princess. Things that you guys can be really, really excited about. Listen, the Sun Princess serves up 30 inviting restaurants and bar venues with an unprecedented collection of celebrity collaborators, high-end ingredients and culinary experiences. Uh, you got like Love by Brito, they've got Makoto Ocean, some teppanyaki, but by far one of the most standout experiences that I got to partake in was uh, <laughs> Dario. That experience, the butcher, oh man, that let's let's dive into that. All right, I am going to start off with my number one, and it is going to be specialty restaurants because you all know that I love to eat. We had the opportunity to eat at some of the specialty restaurants on board, like the Teppanyaki restaurant and the Catch by Rudy, but one of my very, very favorite experiences um, was the Butcher's Cut by Dario. If you don't know who Dario is, he is the world's most famous greatest butcher um they have collaborated with him and put a restaurant together on board the sun princess and i'm not gonna lie we had a phenomenal time at that restaurant and when he believes that everything should be farm to table now this one is super special y'all because it is a six course prefix menu but everything in that restaurant is sourced by chef dario himself it is essentially a copy paste from his restaurant in tuscany and y'all you are going to feel like you are in tuscany everything was absolutely excellent and honestly i wasn't ready for the experience that we had it was so incredible so unique to anything else that we've ever experienced on a cruise ship and the quality of everything was just super super great so if you have the chance i would highly recommend trying out butcher's cut by dario literally every single thing from the bread to the wine to the cuts of meat themselves are sourced from Dario. One thing you do not want to miss is the dome shows. Listen, it is the newest addition to the Sun Princess. This intimate arena does not go unnoticed. It reminds me of like being in like Santorini. It says that in a lot of our like marketing materials, just like how the stadium amphitheater seating is set. But here's a tip. You do want to go early. Earlier than you think. Uh, we showed up about 45 minutes early and we still almost did not get a spot. The glass enclosed dome. It features acrobatic performances created in partnership with renowned Cirque Eloise. Hopefully I'm saying that right. I'm probably butchering it. But uh, we enjoyed the show. I was able to film some stuff, but you know, what? I'm not going to give you too many spoilers, but I would encourage you to go early. You're going to enjoy it, especially if you're a fan of Princess. Now, this was a press trip for me, so some items on the ship were not finished. This video isn't dedicated to that. You can go watch those videos online to get their two cents and their opinions. Honestly, I'm here just to kind of talk about some of the cool things you guys should look forward to by the time your sailing comes. And when you think about it, all that stuff, they're going to finish some of the items on the ship. But by the time you get there, you will be able to do some of these cool things that I'm talking about with you guys today. Does that sound fair? That sounds fair to me. My number two, I'm sticking with food, is actually so many casual places you can eat on the ship that is not the buffet. So... Princess has the buffet, they call it the eatery. I believe it's on deck nine. It's actually a great place to eat. But if you don't want to go into the buffet and you want to kind of stay away from the crowds and, and chill outside, you can eat on the promenade or you can eat up on the Lido deck and you can get salads. They have burgers. They have their delicious pizza, they have ice cream, coffee, cocktails, literally anything that you want in these kind of tucked away spots on the promenade or up on the Lido deck so you don't even have to leave the pool. We got some of their special premier desserts. We got this giant ice cream sundae and we were just right up on the pool deck and it was really great. So I love that there are other options other than the buffet and they're kind of spread out throughout the ship so you can kind of get whatever you want wherever you are. Moving on to number three is Spellbound. Now, if you've been following along with the story of Princess Cruises, they've, they've, they're they doing some pretty cool stuff. Following the successful debut of the first Extraordinary Experience with 360 on board Discovery Princess, 
and Enchanted Princess. The next in the series is Spellbound by Magic Castle. Now, the story is this is a, a, a like a family uh, that lives in California that has been like raising and training magicians, and you can only get into this Magic Castle if. It's by invite, and they have, like, I'm just going to call it a guild for the lack of education. But listening to their story and seeing them collaborate, it's the first ever doing something like this on C. I mean, I tell you, they vetted each magician. You have to be invited. It is this really cool speakeasy experience where you can get custom, like, crafted cocktails. They are good, but there's so many cool things inside of Spellbound. They had, like, these cool bar stools that would shrink ever so slowly so once you sit at the bar you're at a normal height but as the night goes on it starts to sink almost as it's magic and then you realize like why am i so close to the ground i thought i was higher a couple drinks just kind of plays little practical jokes on you there's also one with a rotating table so you set your drink here and it starts to rotate towards your guests if you're having a cocktail with a friend or family member it's it's really funny but there's a magical piano as well that can request or you can request songs and it will play ghost keys as if like there's a magical ghost behind the scenes playing. Like I just thought like all the details in this room, just super fun. Um, that is number three for sure. You got to go check that out if you can. Now, my number three, there are 200 new drinks on board the Sun Princess. Y'all, that is so many new drinks. And let me tell you, you've got to try them. So I'm going to say just do yourself a favor and Grab the plus or the premier package because you are going to want to taste some of these amazing drinks that Princess has come up with. They are scattered throughout all of the bars across the ship. And I, let me, I'm not sure I had a bad drink. And one of my favorite ones was actually a truly pineapple and coconut daiquiri. It was just super light and refreshing. It was literally like a coconut daiquiri, but they poured a truly on top. Um, it was a great drink to have by the pool. So y'all, like I said, do yourself a favor and enjoy responsibly some of the 200 drinks they have on board. Uh, number four, continue on with the theme of like beverages and cocktails. You got to check out Cascade Bar. Um, again, that waterfall, it changes colors ever so slightly throughout the night, which is a super magical, but they have really, really good cocktails there. Uh, one of them being the, it's like a clarified pina colada where they end up adding some sort of scientific process where they clarify, uh, they add lime to the milk curd, they boil it and it ends up separating and ends up being like this super clear pina colada, which I just thought those super delicious, but uh, something called Watering the Garden, which is a exceptional cocktail. I'll try to throw some clips for you here, what it looks like, but the amount of effort and energy that they're putting into their craft tail, and to their cocktails is super solid. The next thing I loved about the Sun Princess is the dome, y'all. This space is absolutely beautiful. I love that during the day you can go swimming. They have an indoor and outdoor pool. There's so many places to sit and relax. Literally, it's just absolutely beautiful. It is enclosed, so you don't get full breeze. The weather doesn't affect it, which is super nice. But also the space is very functional in the evening because it hosts some of the shows they have on board. Now, we were one of the very first people to see the show Artbeat, which is featured in the dome. And let me tell you, Noah loved the show, y'all. There are so many fun elements to the show. The music's great, the, the visuals, the the people in the air that I don't want to spoil it, but for real, it was a really super cool show. Um, one thing I will say about the space is that there are only 250 seats. You'll definitely want to get there early because it is a more intimate vibe, which is very unique. But a really cool thing, number five, that I really think you guys should consider doing is good spirits. I know I'm talking about food and drink and shows, but like what else do you book the cruise for? Besides, you know, relaxing at the pool deck, which they have, or you know, doing a ship tour, which they have on YouTube. You can go watch those things. Um, but you have to go check out uh, Good Spirits. It's this cool, quiet, intimate room where the bartender tells you a little bit about the history of some of their beverages on their menu, but they also show you like a movie of what's going on, and they make that cocktail right in front of you like most bartenders do, but it's a little bit of a show. Um, it's interactive. You can talk to the bartender. He has his microphone. And he tells you everything. It's almost like a cooking class, but with, you know, cocktails. Now, one of the last things that I really loved about the Sun Princess is Park 19. This space is the most engaging family activity zone that Princess has ever had 
on a cruise ship and it is something really cool. It features the sea breeze, which is like the very first hang gliding experience on the ship, kind of like the sky ride on Carnival where the car kind of hangs down and you bike around, but you're literally like hanging from the track. It looked really cool. Unfortunately, it was not operating for our sailing. They were doing crew, so I bet that's going to be really cool. They also have an obstacle course that is on decks 19 and 20 that looked really neat and they have like a splash pad for kids so I was actually really excited to take Noah but unfortunately it was not operating so we're just gonna have to get back on the ship because that girl loves to play in some water so I love that Princess is finally kind of opening more activities up for families to get more families on the on their ships and I think it's going to be a space that is used very often on that ship. There's also a jogging track up there, a recreational area where you can play cornhole and ping pong and connect four. And it's it's just a super fun, relaxing area. That's not the pool deck. Now, listen, um, if you need some more information about Princess Cruises, what it's like, I have this fun video here where you can watch uh, our experience on the Regal Princess and stay tuned for that. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.